this tutorial, we are diving into Greek mythology, so be careful not to look into my eyes. This wild look requires beginner to intermediate skills, takes forever to prepare and about one hour to apply. The money we spent went into a few rubbery nice little um, snakes as well as those wooden sticks for that headpiece. The rest is basically stuff we found around the house. So yeah, yeah, so let's start out with that headpiece and we have like, these are like reed kind of hollowed out little wooden sticks thingies you can use whatever you have but these were kind of lightweight and uh, yeah stick them to a headband you can choose to build this on a head like we do but of course you can also build it laying down on that table a little glue strip there to keep them together at the base and then we glue more of these onto the headband then we go in and do a little trimming make them look just the way we want and this is where you can get creative and shape this headpiece any way you like it there is no real right or wrong here so just go ahead and do your thing <laughs> and Ellie kind of missed the opportunity when she spoke about the look here in the intro uh, she had the chance to make one of the best dad jokes ever but that was not on the menu Imagine if she had said, Today we're diving into Greek mythology, but be careful, don't look into my eyes too long or you might end up like Dwayne Johnson. She said people wouldn't understand that, but I said, yeah, we've got some smart followers here, they will understand it. Did you understand it? Tell us in the comments. Anyways, keep building that headpiece and you see Ellie has to spread those uh, sticks apart make them in little groups I'm putting sticks on top of my head in Swedish is Jag sätter pinnar mitt uppe på huvudet Done and done time for a little golden uh I <laughs> Golden spray, I almost said golden shower, oh my god, I must be tired. Anyways, a golden spray there to get the shine on. And then we take a, a nasty old wig and simply cut all the hair off because we need that support from that base of the wig so that we can um, keep the headpiece in place because it's going to be huge. Black paint on that. And then we take these foam sheet pieces Cut them out in strips and simply glue them straight on, creating that new snaky-like hair. This process actually takes a while, uh, and this whole look we've been working on for quite a while. We, we did a little this week, a little next week, and yeah, so that's why it took so long to create. But anyway, a little black spray there, and we are good to go. And what we're doing now is simply to curl these up, make them little snake-like in the shape and this is you know there is again no right or wrong here just twirly snaky looking um, shapes back there and uh, yeah More of that water-based spray paint, get that black color on, and then we bring in those little tiny toy snakes that Ellie found uh, in the store. So yeah, glue them on there, get the real snake vibe going. Next up, gluing that golden headpiece straight on there as well, so we get everything in one solid unit more snakes and decorations these golden things that just stuff we found around the house it can be pretty much anything so use your imagination use whatever you feel would be cool here and since we are on the topic of medusa here uh if you could turn one thing in the world into stone what would that be 
Would it be a person or would it be a flying pig? Or what would you turn into stone if you could? Tell us in the comments. Alright, next up a nice little prosthetic going from our forehead up into that headpiece. So, using liquid latex paste, basically liquid latex mixed with baking flour into a paste and smear that out onto anything face shaped that uh, can be matched to your forehead basically. Doesn't have to be super exact really. You need a piece there up on the forehead going down a bit. And into this, we're gonna sink those additional snakes. There's a snake tail. Just push that in. Add additional latex there over the actual. Yeah, exactly. And again, add as many as you like. Maybe you don't even want them there, but it looks cool kind of makes the face go into snakes so yeah we thought it looked pretty awesome so there you go we also create these for the cheekbones so after we run this in the micro a few seconds to make it solid we go for the cheekbones there we go do the same thing right there Now going back to our headpiece for additional detailing, this time it's gold paint on those scales of the snakes. Need them to pop a little bit more and to match the headpiece in general, so yeah. And with the gold paint, just tiny light strokes there to highlight some of those scales. It's gonna look pretty cool. And of course the same thing right there on the prosthetic, putting that shine on those snakes. And then it's time to peel that forehead prosthetic off and be sure to apply ample amounts of powder or flour as you peel it off or that latex will simply stick to itself. Now let's check out Rigel SFX. I have met this awesome dude and I think you should check out these super cool creations and give this guy a follow, he deserves it. The application of course requires us to remove, I shouldn't say remove, but at least get rid of temporarily all that hair. So tuck it in, tuck it away and bring out your awesome headpiece and put that straight on to that, yeah, right, <laughs> right about there, looking good. Maybe adjust it a bit. Yeah. And then it's time for a three stage brow hiding process beginning with a bit of glue stick there. Line those brows and then we go in with a uh, an orange concealer to cancel out the colors of those brows and on top of that we go in with a foundation. The clip with the concealer application was lost so we went straight to that foundation clip here in the tutorial but yeah use all three and then we head on to merge that headpiece into our little forehead. Adding a little black faded line there using a black hairspray color. And head on to apply Prosade to attach our prosthetic. And this of course will work with uh, any kind of skin adhesive that you have access to. Alright, so put it on there. Go over the edges there with additional Prosade and then uh, heading on to the cheekbones. Setting the whole thing with powder and then going back to foundation.
For the shading, we are going with a rusty kind of tone. It's gonna look good. We're gonna mix that in with additional black later on. And these black tones will help us to fade that prosthetic into the headpiece and it will also give all that shading that extra punch and define the nose a little bit better. To enhance the snake theme we go in and add a little scales on various patches on the face. And for the curious ones in the audience, if you are wondering what this voiceover guy actually is doing when he's not doing voiceovers for LMAX SFX, you can check that out at Max Moser on Instagram. Go check it out. And for the outermost sides of the cheek and neck, we actually go in with that black hairspray paint. Fade some of that black into the face. Then we're going to switch to gold again to connect our face a little bit more to the actual headpiece by adding randomly placed little gold spots there in those scales. Closing in on the finish line, but we still need to pack a little more punch there, especially around the eyes. They look a little bit nude at the moment, so yeah. Going in with brown earthy tones here for a nice smoky look. And again, bringing in that black to increase that punch and impact. I'm starting to see the finish line in Swedish, yes. Jag börjar se mållinjen. But we are not on that finish line just yet. We need additional eyeliner here. And we also need to deepen and darken that waterline. So. For an extravagant look like this, we cannot forget the brows, so throw them in there, those falsies. And when they are in place, time to go into selfie mode and story mode, like 6000 angles here. <laughs> and anywho, tears. Tears are good, especially if they are black, so basic watercolor with a lot of water makes it run down our cheek look at that perfect and finally we go in and define those lips a little bit better with a pen and then we call it a day you can of course add additional stuff to this but all in all you are one hell of an awesome Medusa, don't you think so? We think this look came out super cool, even if it's not a lot of makeup, it's a lot of, like we say in Sweden, pussel. But yeah, this looks awesome. Uh, tell us what you think about this, and also, again, tell us what you want to see next, so we know what you want. And uh, yeah! We will see you next time. I can't tell you exactly what uh, the next thing will be, but it might be something different. We'll see. Take good care out there. We love you. Bye.